her in one way or another. You know, I don't I don't look like what I used to look like when I was in high school, very feminine. Mm -hmm. And after talking for a bit, we were able to find some common ground, you know. And and he was like, yeah, actually, I I would like to work with you. So amazing. Yeah. So that's a clinical practice. Then I do um, continuing education that's coming up next week. Mm -hmm. I do a sexual attitudes reassessment. People who are therapists or, or and want to become sex therapists or sexual educators, it's a required. Um, it's a requirement by the Ontario Board of Exam, like Ontario Board of Examiners for Sex uh, Therapists and Counselors. So BESCO, the Board of Examiners for Sex Therapists in Ontario, mm -hmm. and for ASEC in, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. to have a sexual attitude reassessment workshop. Okay, and you provide those. I provide that. Uh, it's a 36-hour workshop um, mm -hmm. once a year. So those are the continuing education programs that I carry. Mm -hmm. And then I have a series called From the Bedroom to the Boardroom. Um, staff staff leadership development for organizations. Right, so you go into companies, you go into workplaces. Yeah, I go to workplaces, yeah. do different trainings or diversity or do audits. So gender audits, diversity audits, sexual harassment audits. What do you audits. mean by that, gender audits, sexual so audits? So figuring out, looking at the policy that they currently have, looking at legislation, looking at their culture and seeing how are they applying. Do they have the policy that is required by legislation and do they have the culture to, to be able to provide environments that are safer in terms of sexual harassment or diversity or... Yeah. yeah, so just making workplace, workplaces sex positive. I don't know if sex positive per se. Um, just not sex negative? <laughs> or maybe not sex negative, negative but more towards, de like, no, more towards legislation. Like how many, how many LGBTQ individuals do you have? Mm, okay. uh, what see. kind of, like what is your culture? Is it welcoming? How many trans individuals do you have? How many women? Uh, what are your sexual harassment policies? Are they working? Are they, what's the culture like? Like, okay, mm -hmm. so you have policy, but is it, is it transpiring into the organizational culture? Mm -hmm. Is it translating yeah, to, it your, translating everyday to your everyday work experience? Yeah, to your everyday work experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gotcha. And that's the UN wow. work, I guess, the policy. Oh, gosh, so much important work you do. It's kind of mo mind blowing. I told you. It's like whatever <laughs> my mind comes up with, I come up with it. If I can make it happen, then I make it happen. And then that's what Sex Explorer does. Wow, that's amazing. Um, okay, I don't think we can speak too much longer without talking about my sponsors for today. So Please I'm just do. Gonna take a couple moments, you know, <laughs> to uh, give some great shout outs to some great sex positive companies. Uh, the first one, Oasis Aqua Lounge, which you mentioned earlier. I love 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 them they actually partner yeah. up with me for that they're super they're incredibly supportive the SAR is going to happen at Oasis so we do uh, field trips and Oasis even from the beginning of the workshop has always been extremely supportive I I kudos to Oasis I amazing. love it amazing who uh, for people who don't know what Oasis is it's a sex club that's here in Toronto and they are shame free and judgment free when it comes to pleasure and play they're welcoming of all people of all different sexual orientations and genders uh, they have a fantastic facility and they feature fantastic sex educators mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Den yeah Den uh, out there. Mm -hmm. yeah um, and so they are at oasisauclounge.com if you want to check them out from afar or you can just go right on down to 231 Mutual Street right here in Toronto if you're a, a Torontonian. Uh, secondly, I want to talk about comeasyouare.com. Mm. Are you familiar with Come As You Are? I love them. <laughs> the co -op. I love that co-op. I, I get stuff <laughs> so from there. Great. I love them, yeah. They're trans-owned, trans-operated. They uh, are founded here in Toronto, but now they're online mm -hmm. at uh, comeasyouare.com. They are feminists. They're any capitalist. They want to give you the best products at the uh, absolute best price. Uh, and we have a coupon code. It's bedpost one word b-e-d-p-o-s-t will get you 15 percent off when you check out at come as you are dot com i'm gonna use that yeah <laughs> um love crafters is a new one i have and i've got a, a lovely little toy to show off here uh yeah <laughs> Right, oh, the mermaids there. <laughs> a mermaid tail. It even has a little pearl right in the middle there. Um, it's strap on compatible, as you can see here. Um, this is a fantastic non gendered fantasy toy line uh, oh that they are hand sculpted. The mod the models for each toy are hand Amazing. sculpted and poured here in Toronto. Um, if you want to go to see more about Love Crafters, go to the Etsy shop Love Crafters Toys, and um, they're body safe. They're 100% silicone pure 
pure silicone. So please go check out these uh, fantastic toys. I don't know about them, and I'm going to go check, check them out. Check it out. They're so fun. They've got tentacles. They've got Lord of the Rings cock rings. <gasps> like, it goes on and on. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and speaking of this little harness that I have here, another one is Unicorn Collaborators. Mm. So Unicorn Collaborators are two queer unicorns who are leather makers. They do a lot of uh, harness-type situations. They love to collaborate. They're super body positive, so they create a thousand different sizes, or it's completely customizable for your body. They're also non-gendered, so you can have, you can, anybody can wear these things no matter what your gender, what your body type, what your orientation, what your intention with this product is. Um, and you can go to you collaborators on Twitter. You can go unicorn collaborators uh, at gmail.com to direct message them for inquiries on their fantastic leather products. That's amazing. I'm uh, learning so much today. And then, oh, one more thing is provocateurimages.ca. Uh, Okay, Provocateur Images is a boudoir photography studio who actually shot my new logo that's behind Den there. <laughs> and shot me, like Trevor. Yes. I've had an experience with him. I've had such great experiences with Trevor. It's amazing. I have my book. I have like a huge photograph of me in boudoir. He is, I have no words to describe the work that he does. It's so empowering. Oh. It is so incredibly amazing. You he and he is an amazing person to work with he's Agreed. got good politics he's a nice guy he makes you feel comfortable his space is luxurious and oh sensual. gosh the studio mm -hmm. oh Ian you can get so many different looks mm -hmm. like so many different settings he shoots in he can get your photos to look a million different ways uh, we're yeah. working on a new project actually him and I I told him I want to have I want to have a photograph I'm cr like he's like oh my god Dan, you're, you're, you're gonna drive me crazy <laughs> I want to be in my masculine self and in my feminine self in the same in the photograph same photo like being my own couple and he's like we'll try to do that so if he can pull that off he can pull anything off <laughs> I absolutely love that. If you're interested in booking a boudoir shoot with Provocateur Images, go to provocateurimages.ca um, or you can follow him uh, provocateur underscore images on Instagram. We also have a coupon code, B-E-D-P-O-S-T, bedpost, one word. Uh, you will get 10% off your uh, next session, which sounds pretty good, but uh, depending on what package you choose, you're getting between $65 and $250 off. Mm -hmm. Crazy savings. Please go check out Provocateur Images. <laughs> we both second that that message <laughs> all of them all of them all of the things all of the things okay den um we're we're back with uh part two of our of our podcast here with den temen uh certified board certified sexologist so pleased to have you here so I, happy i i as i was saying i was kind of browsing through your your website and i've got a couple um a couple of things that you do workshops on yeah that kind of piqued my interest I'm if sure. you don't mind me no. kind of asking you about you them ask me whatever you want um okay mastering sex positions mm -hmm. what is that workshop right. about what what's the general idea with that one fun times i think that we, we are ergonomic beings and they don't teach us how to use our bodies. So I, mastering sex positions, I had to, it used to be called sexual ergonomics. Sexual ergonomics, But nobody yeah. was signing up for the freaking, <laughs> Nobody know, knows what nobody, the word ergonomics no, and means. And so I was like, okay, mastering sex positions, and now then people signed up. Great. <laughs> it's about learning different techniques using your body so let's say let's say that we're doing the missionary position i don't know why i always come up with that one but generally people rest on their wrists yes. you know and they thrust and after a certain amount of time your body starts hurting yeah right? your wrists your... your wrists everything or maybe you have different um abilities in your body mm -hmm. right yep. so you're 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 a differently abled person that can't do those positions so we really look at your body type Mm -hmm. uh, to see how we can manage ergonomically um, to find the positions that are best going to work for you. Amazing. So whether you're older, have gone through an illness, are differently able-bodied, mm -hmm. Yeah, an whatever accident, it is. your yeah. shoulder, yeah, you yeah. can't raise your exactly. arm above here. Exactly, and, and, and so a lot of the tenants are like uh, using different muscle groups, you know, so instead of thrusting, rocking, because it's easier on your body, doing 90 degree with your joints, you okay. know, so instead of doing this, you always are in 90 degree with different parts of your body and your joints, okay. right? Being closed, not allowing for a lot of space because then you, you get th the person that you're having sex with or the people that you're having sex with get to support your body and you get to support them. Yeah, distribute so, like, the weight a bit yeah, amongst exactly. the two of you. Looking at your surroundings, using your breathing. So we look at what positions you haven't been able to do or you want to do mm -hmm. and using sexual ergonomics, 
achieving them. And oh, it's great. I love that. You know, in one of those workshops I had, that's that was a, a moment for me. Um, in one of the, again, cruises, because it's my, my experience where I can do, it's just easier logistically. They provide the, the sheets and they provide the mattresses already. And great. I don't have to think about that. So that's why I do it. The median age in that, in that, um, or the average age in that group was seventy-five. Yeah, wow! It's for that older, work, for that group. for that workshop for that for that particular day. And when I went in, I had a lot of taboos uh, uh, and stigma right. for older folks. It was the first time I was teaching that group, and I was like, <gasps> my assistant uh, at the time told me to go to the washroom, wash my face, <laughs> you know, wash my taboos away, take come back, moment. take yeah, a moment. Yeah, what a metaphor. You yeah, know? go wash your go face. Go wash your what taboos. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> come back and teach us if you were teaching 30-year-olds. So I came back, mm-hmm. and some people were taking their depends off because it's an older crowd, you know. Sure. They were yeah. getting naked with older naked bodies. Yeah. And one of them couldn't figure out the position. So I put my I put my harness on yeah. and my cock. And I was like, okay, let me show you how I would do it. And then you get on, then they get on top of me and we play with our bodies and then we do it. And the, and the woman was like looking at my cock all the time. Like this is a probably 75-year-old woman. And she's like, can I try that? <laughs> so I took my harness off. She put it on and her face lit up. It was the first time she was putting on a harness. And she's like, I love my cock and she started strutting around the room you yes. know she's like can you teach me positions <laughs> yes i can to use my cock the husband was a bit scared <laughs> he's you know? a bit apprehensive at you this know, point a little and how bit. confidently she is brandishing Brand- this her, dick. Her co- i guess her cock now my cock <laughs> but sexual positions you know it doesn't matter your gender mm-hmm. right it doesn't matter your ability it doesn't we have to find a way mm-hmm. to make your body work for you. That's what that class is about. I love that because um, I've had a guest quite a while ago who I'm looking at having again on the podcast, Andrew Gerza. Oh, I love Andrew's work. He was a panelist once amazing. for the SAR. He's amazing. He yeah. is, His podcast yes. is just mind-blowing. Disability, Disability After, Dark. After Dark. Yeah, yeah. I love Andrew. Mm. Yeah. Um, and he speaks a lot about, um, he has CP, um, mm-hmm. so he has limited mobility in mm-hmm. a lot of different ways. And he kind of talks a lot about how, you know, he still he gets physiotherapy um, for his disability mm-hmm. and how he's not able to talk to the physiotherapist about how can I you know do this position that I want to do um, and help that way like how do I thrust because that's something that you know I'm kind of not able to do or not able to do for long yeah. or but he's not able to have these types of conversations usually with his physiotherapist yeah. and it would be lovely in an ideal world it would be great that you know, every person that had a physiotherapist could broach these kind yeah. of sexual um, issues right. with. Right. But it's, they don't. But they don't. So that is so valuable that that's one of the things that you provide. Yeah, because we have to look at the way that your particular body works yeah. to see how we can match it to what you desire to do. There, and, and that's why it's not a one size fits all. The way that I might teach a position to this couple or to this person might not be the same to this person, you know, like because mm-hmm. their bodies work in different ways. So I just plop in the mattress with them, grab their bodies. Show me where you're at. Show me where you're at. Yeah. And then and then and then I move my bodies. It's I 